sunny South End, home to sandy beaches, the longest pier in the world, and of course, it's fish and chips. Delicious. From the 1st of March, this will be the UK's newest city. It's an exciting time for this seaside town. Today marks the end of a jam-packed city week to celebrate South End's newly secured city status. There have been light shows this week, there have been concerts, there have been special signs erected all around the town. And this is in honour of the late Sir David Amos, who was stabbed to death in October. He was the MP here for 24 years and this is a moment he has long campaigned for. There's been a big conversation here in South End about what city status means for this town. I've been speaking to local people about what it means for them. I mean, I think it's a, a really good idea. Hopefully uh, we'll get more investment in the town from businesses. Uh, hopefully more tourists will come. Uh, we can kind of compete against the other sort of big seaside towns like Brighton, Bournemouth. Um, Overall, yeah, I think it's a good, good, good thing and a good tribute to Sir David Amos. The thing is, as you say, in infrastructure, um, we've only got the two roads really yes, into that one South road End. In and one road out. That's, that's <laughs> the biggest problem. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that will all be addressed in time. Yes, I so. think it will. I think it's great for the community and it's bringing people together. It's a sad situation that has had to happen in, but seeing the concert and how happy it made everyone. I think it's wonderful. On the 3rd of February 2022, a by-election was held in South End West, where Anna Firth became the new Conservative MP for the area, following in the footsteps of the late Sir David Amos. She has vowed to honour his legacy. Sir David Amos was an amazing constituency MP. You know, he must have been one of the UK's finest constituency MPs. And yes, so I'm really, really aware that I have enormous uh, boots to fill. But having been such a brilliant MP, there's a fantastic legacy here to build on. So I think city status uh, really uh, is going to fall into three categories. Number one is civic pride. You know, becoming a city has given everybody across South End a real lift. Uh, there's a real sense of enthusiasm. The second thing uh, is cross-party working, because being, becoming a city uh, isn't about party politics. It's about everybody coming together for the good of South End, and that's I think is going to be a really powerful force. And I'm already chairing um, a cross-party group, which is all about city implementation. And then the third thing, and the most important thing, is using our city status as a catalyst to attract more investment into the town. And one of the things I'm particularly passionate about is applying for UK City of Culture status. A new MP brings hope that this city can heal from the wounds of last year. And City Status opens an exciting new chapter for South End. Ellie Costello, GB News.